Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where you join me with a really big smile on my face today. Very positive, excited and happy for the week to come. And I want to, on today's video, focus on what is happening right now on the Bitcoin chart. We have finally, finally hit the top of our trading channel, looking at this one for over a month. So I'm going to go over an in-depth analysis for you so you can truly understand all of the levels that we are looking at right now. There's only really three key major levels to be aware of. I am going to share them with you for free in this video. All you need to do is pay full attention to everything I say and by the end of this you will have increased your knowledge and insights into this Bitcoin chart. Obviously I haven't done an update for a little while. I posted over on Twitter, smash it to over 200 likes. I'll bring you my latest analysis and the likes have been smashed as we now have hit 285. Obviously the last update that I give you was back on the 15th of July when I was talking about Bitcoin rising from the weekly and value area low support and why I was in that long trade. We can see how myself and some other champs managed to take that upwards, obviously now topping out at just over $24,000, but that long position from around 19300 well, I hope you paid attention in that last video. That massive pump did come. I'm going to pick up right from where we left off that video on the 15th. Now we're on the 21st. The next update. Here we go. Let's begin and let's get into the charts. That's what we're here for. So obviously on the 15th, we were talking about this rise to the upside while I was in a long position. We'd obviously just back tested the weekly, bouncing off that value area low. We had a few key levels to the upside. Primarily, we had that really big daily level okay, of resistance, which was tested. We got a few taps into the level, bit of a pullback in the end that bounced off the CC. If you took your Fibonacci from the last low made to the high up into that daily, we bounced, you know, we rejected off that daily first two touches, come back into the CC before getting through that daily level on the third touch, okay? What I wanna do here is add on some analysis onto the chart so you can start, so we're gonna basically bring this chart to life. As I will always say, everybody watching this video, um, without technical analysis, we are nothing, yeah? Without, without doing our technical analysis, we are blindly gambling. And the only way we can change this from, you know, a 50-50 gamble, well, let's just say a 33% gamble when you include sideways price action, okay? We have to have higher probabilities than that if we are wanting to take a trade, okay? So what we're doing is we're adding on steps of technical analysis. You can see here everything that we are, well, that I have been looking at over recent weeks. Okay, I actually just want to share a post here. As we were making our way upwards, uh, a post from my read only, coaches only channel, okay? And that was actually this post here, um, back from the 19th, where I was posting to my team, this was early in the morning, at the moment, I am not in any short trades from this range. I will really simply wait for higher acceptance back into the range. I went on yesterday to further emphasize this. I am currently still remaining patient for higher prices. As you can see here, the higher price that I'm remaining patient for is the parallel channel high. Why the parallel channel high? Because that was for me a really key level of resistance. It's the top of our channel from, you know, actually over a month ago looking at this channel high. Okay, so a few things that are really important for you as the viewer here learning to trade to really get into my mind. What was I thinking? What am I looking at? As always, I'm always aware of levels to the upside, level to the downside. I know that top of the channel is the really big key level. I know we have obviously sub levels within here that we can look to short and that's by the way, from 19,000 to 24,000, that long position that I did hold. I'm still taking short positions on the way up because upon the way up, there are several levels that we could potentially reverse from. And I did take several shorts on the way up there. What you have to know is take those shorts, take a take profit one. If then we see a rise in price, which we did, no, it's really no worries because you've locked in that profit. You're looking for then that next level to the upside. So the insights that I want you to take away here is that I knew once we had broken 23K, there is no more levels left until the parallel channel high, which is around 24,200. I am then able to remain really patient for those higher prices. While many people will be scrambling into maybe FOMO longs at these levels, other people trying to short every single rise, I am able to comprehend from my technical analysis, we have no more levels between here. I'm remaining patient for the top of the channel and that is where I'll take my next short position. Why am I able to remain so calm, patient and collected with my thoughts is because I've had this plan for over a month. 
I'd actually like to share something with you from a Champions live stream here. This was actually a Champions live stream where we had this really nice fractal. As you can see, this is back at the start of July. So we're talking weeks in advance. I had, well, first of all, the fractal, but the main thing that I want to bring your attention to here is the parallel channel that I had added on. So this is the parallel channel that I'm referring to from the Champions live streams. And I think this is a parallel channel, Paul, truly you were only ever going to have seen from me. No one else in the world will have pulled this because it was done in a fairly unique way. And in a way, nobody would really be thinking to pull a channel. But you can see I'm thinking outside of the box and ahead of the game. My thought process is obviously the channel low here. And you can actually see here, I'll give it away. On a lower term one hour time frame, we have a we have a a, uh, a rise before a drop. So this is for me when we're starting to look at the patterns here. This was our first you know primarily sign of support coming in. So I've taken my parallel channel pull from that. As you can see, about it comes in basically around twenty four thousand two hundred dollars. Please, 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 just remember that level because of the accuracy of this. But that parallel channel twenty four thousand two hundred. Obviously, we had that channel low within here. We had a fractal. Didn't play out perfectly, um, but it did obviously overall give a, you know give a sign of a rise to the upside, and I do still hold a long from nineteen thousand three hundred dollars. Okay, so there are a few factors coming in together here for why we could see the rise to the top of the range for a short position, which I, I did take by the way, and. So that has hopefully explained to you a few key things here before we move on to what's happening now and what I'm looking at next over the week to come. So a few key points that I really, truly want you to understand. First of all, why we bounced from where we did down here was the value area low weekly retest. Okay, if you take into factor a few other things, you obviously had a fractal low down here. Okay, a few different layers of support. But from that, we're able to recognize rises in price. Not only that, there are, of course, key levels. For instance, this high to this low, you'd have had a CC. We had a really key daily level. But price, once through those levels, we recognize that resistance has now flipped into support. Let's remain patient for our next level to the upside. And we can start to see here when we add on this parallel channel, how this parallel channel really was the absolute key. Absolute key. You can see here, 24,200. You can see how this was tapped perfectly little tiny rise above it before the you know large i would refer to this as a large successful short position to be fair because we've already seen over a five percent drop to the downside five percent drop when you're trading with multi-millions this is a very large profit to be taking okay you can also see the fractal again not picture perfect but overall did give a rise to the upside but i'm no longer looking at this fractal by the way but it's just something to bear in mind from how it played out with the prediction from the champions live stream so really we can see how it played out fairly nicely giving the rise to the top of this channel so now as I said, we have, or oh, I have explained how from the last video that I was talking about why I was long on Bitcoin and, you know, why we've rejected from where we've rejected from. OK, so hopefully you've understood that fully and we'll move into the next segment of the video where we're going to be dissecting what is happening now and what we're going to be looking at next over the, you know, really over the next few weeks to come, because I feel this is at such a key level on the chart. OK, I'd just like to do talk about one thing fairly briefly here. I don't really don't want to spend too much time on it. But of course, there's been a lot of comments and, and questions from people. And so I'd just like to adjust this really quickly. Uh, the first thing is, of course, <laughs> you can see from this Twitter post. I, 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 I do like over on Twitter, but you can see here. You know, there's a lot of anger, upset, hatred going on in, in all of the world right now. I'm just talking about in general. So this is what I'm here for. This is what we are here for at Chart Champions and the other coaches at the end of the day. You know, and that is to have a positive impact on other people's lives. And we are here to just focus on ourselves and our people, everything around us that we cannot have any control over. We're not going to be placing any attention or focus onto that. You know, everything around us is uncontrollable what we can control what we can focus on is the charts is sharing our technical analysis and is sharing originally what was just hold done for our passion of trading and you know you can see here from the comments from the people if you want if you want a video by about this by the way how i went from 25 bitcoin to 63 bitcoin in under one month l let me know smash that like button smash that like button and i'll say it again over 3000 likes i will do a video dedicated to this for you of how i've grew this account so quickly that's that's now sitting at over over 1.5 million on this account already in under one month if you want a video about that let me know but you can see really what we're focusing on here is the 
you know, the, the games and, you know, the people of the members of the champions that are going through the hard work and coming out the other side really positively. And of course, there's always going to be a bit of drama going on within such a large community. And I have no interest in talking about this. And <laughs> neither does anybody else within Chart Champions. So I just refer to a post that was given to me. Uh, from a via a DM. I mean, you can pause and read this yourself if, if you are interested in it, because I'm not going to be, after this, I'm not going to spend a second thoughts on it. It's kind of like I was saying, for me, you know, people come, people go. At the end of the day, we are focused on ourselves. We are focused on providing you the top quality educational content along with the training ideas that we're, we're supplying. You know, this is what we're focused on. And I mean, read for yourself here the the video. You can just pause it and read it. But, you know, a lot of people really want me to comment. A lot of people are really trying to bait me into saying things. Uh, all I will say is this. In the world of the internet, you are going to be given half of a story. Okay, half of a story. And whether you choose to believe that half, because I'm not going to be giving you I'm not going to give people the satisfaction that they want of, of directly replying to anything. So all I will say is, you know, you can read half of a story. Uh, believe what you want, my side of events, I'll let them have their happy, happy phase. And, you know, I'm going to just bring myself above all the drama. And this is the last I speak of it. Okay. Um, just know what you read is, is, is probably not true. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll let you be the judge because I'll just let you be the judge of what you truly think is correct. I know what is correct. My people know what is correct. You know, the coaches I'm referring to here, we, we know what's correct. You are open to making your own decision. But again, I'm not going to give the satisfaction of replying directly to this. So you're going to read half of a story, but that's half of a story. You know, like this person that DMs me, you can make your own decisions based off of what's occurring, why it might have occurred, and, you know, what, what's going on next. All I will say is I am very much extremely happy and proud when I see people performing well. Okay, that's all I will say. I'm here to help and I love it when I see people doing well. There's no ulterior motive behind that. That's why Chart Champions was started. So with that, with that said, no more drama in my life. I'm focusing on Chart Champions only. Let's move on to what we were looking at next. And that is what happened when we hit the top of this channel. We can see we came up into the top of the channel. And once again, just... Just please, please, please remember that this was 24200, a level that we had, you know, a month in advance, such a clear, perfect level, reminding my team that this is the level I'm looking at. This is what we are waiting for. And, you know, top of the channel was hit. We can see top of the channel hit. We're starting to get this pullback. This is really a time to be acknowledging this is a high term time frame level this is the maximum this would be the maximum short opportunity because it's the last level before a potentially very large rise to the upside this is the last level zone of resistance up to around 24500 so we have this really key level of resistance here and we've come into it and we've clearly rejected Okay, so once that top of the channel has been hit, what can be a really nice take profit? Well, actually, 22,900 is the nice take profit. Why? Because if you see this mini range of consolidation below the um, channel high, so really simply taking this low, what does that give you? It gives you a swing failure pattern. Swing failure patterns are very nice, relatively easy trades here. So what we're thinking to ourselves is, okay, we've managed to take this short position off of what I truly believe not many traders in the world would have been aware of, unless, of course, they are a member of Chart Champions and they saw this given out months in advance. Well, other than that, majority of people in the world would not have known why we rejected from where we rejected from. Maybe they'll say, oh, we rejected here because uh, Elon Musk sold 75% of his Bitcoin. Well, yeah, maybe that has aided in a pullback, but this was a level we are planned, ready and waiting for weeks in advance. So just, just remember, show me the charts. I will tell you the news. I will tell you the news before it comes out, as, as once again emphasized right in front of your eyes. Okay, right in front of your eyes. We knew this level of 24, 200 months, you know, just, just crazy when you think about it. So why is then this good take profit? Well, you've come down here and then you've taken these series of lows. So once you've taken those series of lows, it provides another room for a rise to the upside. What could be, we, what could, and we're looking at within this? Really simply, a CC pull note. Take your CC Fibonacci from high to low. What do you get? You get this. Fibonacci from high to low into the CC. 
Okay, let me add this onto the chart for you. So remembering, we've now seen a higher term time frame rejection from our high. We've come down with swing failure pattern the low for a really nice take profit one on that short trade. What we could we do if we look to compound or if we miss the original short? Fibonacci from high to low. And I want to show you the absolute precision of this one. Okay, when you take this from high to low, you can see how we've come back up into that CC. OK, and then once again, you can see the reaction from this. And this is why, you know, people have always got an opinion. But this is why that I formed the CC. This is why I have basically formed my own Fibonacci level, because from time and time and time again, I'm here for the absolute precision. I'm here for the dollar moves. I'm here for, you know, <laughs> because I know that there's a difference between a 0.1% move in Bitcoin, you know, that this, this is the type of precision that I strive for. You can see here, with that Fibonacci taken from the high to the low, the absolute dollar high here was put in at the absolute dollar high of the CC. You know, that is what we strive for. This is what you're here for. Like, that, that's just, that's precision. That is precision, precision, precision. That's why I adapted the Fibonacci level to form the CC, because I recognize we can get to the dollar moves. We can see precision that's not there on you know, what was once the golden pocket. Yeah, I've, I've adapted this. I've made it my own, adjusting the levels because I've seen from my own time, statistics, energy put into this. Hey, we can improve. We can make this better. That I did. And you can see it. I've shown this. Oh, my God. So many examples. But there, once again, I just want to emphasize to the exact dollar CC high. That's the type of precision that we're here for. And you can see the reaction from that once more. Another large move to the downside, giving us now some really key, important levels on the chart. OK, so I think I've now talked you through why we rose from where we rose from, why we saw that massive pump. The levels that we got through, the levels that we rejected from, then how we got the pullback retest of the CC for another drop to the downside. Now I'm going to share with you some few key levels before we wrap this up. Okay. Well, clearly above us, we can now pull this new CC. Okay. We can pull this again from the new low made. But for me, I'm really focusing on this key level of support below us, which is $22,000. Okay, we have that $22,000 below us, which for me is a key level of support. Of course, we have this um, NPOC above us, by the way, which you can be aware of as well, coming in at around 23,800, 23,900. So you've got a few, you know, you just key level above us with that CC. Okay, then below us, you have $22,000. But for me as well, this higher term time frame channel is key. So obviously, you've got $22,000 at a high volume node here. But the middle of that channel coming in at around 20800 is also a very key level for myself. You can see how it has had multiple support resistance flips. This is a key level. Should we get a pullback? I'm not, I'm not saying we're definitely going to pull back this far. But should we? This is a level that I would definitely be ready and waiting for. Okay, likewise, if we actually break out of this channel, you know, let's say we break out, we hold 25,000 resistance as support. You know, if we're flipping this into support, we're looking for a really large rise to the upside. So let's not be a perma bull. Let's not be a perma bear. Let's have our levels marked out. Let's do our technical analysis and get ready, waiting for the next high probability trades. These are the type of high probability trades that you get yourself ready and waiting for. And these are the reactions that you see from them. You know, whether you're making just 1% or 5% or even 50% from a trade, at the end of the day, you know, that type of information is irrelevant because if you're consistently making, you know, let's just say 1% a day, you know, you're not after a massive 50% move instantly. You recognize slow, steady, consistent gains. It's all you really need in this space. It truly is all you need. Um, so I've given you the reasons why we rose, the reasons why we dropped from where we dropped from, how we were ready and waiting for these levels, you know, weeks in advance with these levels marked out. Then it's remaining at really key important times, patiently waiting for the higher prices. When we finally hit those higher prices, let's not get scared. Let's not overthink it. Let's take the trade. We've seen the reaction that we wanted to see. Then it's coming down to recognizing where to take profits on these trades, where then you can compound these trades. You know, I mean, you can see it right in front of you, like the proof is in the pudding of the accuracy that you can achieve when you truly understand this market. Um, I've given you then some sub levels to the downside. I've given you then what would happen should we break out this channel, hold it as support. I really think that we'd be looking for large moves to around 28 plus thousand dollars. This is a large move to the upside. But of course, to see that large move, we need to break and hold this channel. OK, until that's happened. This is my next levels. 
This is what I'm ready and waiting for. I truly hope that you've enjoyed this video. Of course, as I've mentioned earlier, I'm not, I'm done with drama. I, I just have no, it doesn't bother me in the slightest. People can do what they want. I'm focused on myself. I'm happy. I'm positive. And like here, Chart Champions and our coaches, we are continuously striving to improve our service every single day. We've obviously recently added even more new speed run modules. These are the condensed five minute videos. Um, we've obviously added in now changes to the websites. So you can got the short version, long versions of daily live stream updates. You've got new content in the vault. You've got new, new strategies being released. You've got the speed runs coming out now. You've obviously got the coaches only, read only channels. You can see we've listened to feedback, we've implemented, and we are continuously striving and releasing more. And we have, I'll just say this, we've got more coming out that you're gonna be absolutely loving. So, you know, if you wanna learn to trade with us, if you wanna follow our insights, Obviously, the latest one that we've done is a new live trading sessions. Um, you know, as many have saying, this is an absolute game changer because you can come in and watch the live analysis as it's happening. And um, yeah, this is, this is you know, we're happy to hear the wants of the people and react. So here you go. That's the new live, live analysis training sessions. Um, another, another new thing that we've, that we've added. So all I'll say is that, yeah, we're focused on ourselves. I hope that you are focused on your learning and your trading journey. And for me, thank you ever so much. I love you watching this. I love everybody. I have no hate or dislike towards anybody. And um, yeah, all I will say is good luck to everybody watching this video. Thank you ever so much. I truly hope you've enjoyed. Uh, I suppose I'll end with that once more. If you want to see the video talking about this journey from 25 to actually over 80 Bitcoin in, in under a month, I'll explain how I've done that. Again, using low leverage, no high leverage used here. I'll give you a glimpse and insights into this should you want it. Smash those likes, over 3,000, I'll do it for you. And um, yeah, I hope you can enjoy to see the accuracy and the joy that you can get from trading in this market. Where was that comment? It was from Scott, one of my favorites, Scott. Scott, I love you. Yes, oh no, where, where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? It was another one from Scott. Like, yeah. Oh, I can't remember. It must have, maybe it was in the Discord. Scott, shout out to you. I love you, my friend. Anyway, all I will say is that thank you ever so much once again, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you over in the Discord or over on the website, I suppose, in the next live stream, which will be on Sunday. And have an absolutely brilliant, brilliant, brilliant week ahead. I love you. Cheers. And I suppose later with that, no financial advice. This is just an entertainment educational stream only. Thank you once again. Have a good day and goodbye. Cheers.